Enslaved folks taught each other this ass-kicking tradition to survive on plantations. When the government banned it, they didn't stop. They just hid in plain sight. The match was heating up. Onlookers clapped traditional rhythms as two opponents bobbed, weaved, and exchanged overhead kicks. This wasn't an ordinary fight. It was a beautiful blend of martial arts and dance. Capoeira began during enslavement, offering moments of freedom from physical and mental bondage. Afro-Brazilians taught it to one another for self-defense and spiritual and emotional empowerment. When the government outlawed capoeira in 1890, capoeiraistas disguised their martial arts as a secret dance, a testament to their determination to preserve the culture. Brazil abolished slavery in 1888 and capoeira was outlawed for nearly 40 years, but one man refused to let it die. Manuel dos Reis Machado, better known as Mestre Bimba, established the first capoeira school in Bahia in 1932. This school trained future teachers to continue the tradition. The Brazilian choreographer, Mestre Jelon Vieira, brought the art to New York City in the mid 1970s. Many historians believe he helped incorporate capoeira style movements into breakdancing. Today, Afro-Brazilian troops perform shows around Brazil keeping capoeira alive. We are the keepers of our culture. The power to preserve traditions is in our hands and we must be intentional about not letting them slip away. We all know schools aren't teaching black history correctly. That's why Push Black is so important. Will you support truthful, accurate, empowering black history content with a donation? Click the link in our bio to donate now.